Well, it's Corpsey. We are still here at this amazing party. And finally, we have a male that we're going to interview just to throw something different into the mix. This is the man responsible for all of this, Jeff Leroy, director of some of the greatest low budget horror films in the annals. Is it the annals? Annals or annals? It's, um, it's I'd say shit, annals, yeah. Annals. In the annals of, of, of movie history. You are the wonderful director who I, I worked uh, beneath. I don't want to say beneath. That sounds worked for. Worked. You directed me in um, Dracula in a Woman's Prison. Right. You also directed the follow-up movie, which was Frankenstein in a Woman's Prison. Right. What was it like doing two back-to-back -back, uh, low-budget horror films uh, without a break? Well, um, I wouldn't be able to do these without uh, Nick Melillo, the producer, oh, yes. who produced the first one, Werewolf in a Women's Prison. Right. So this is like my Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> and uh, he wanted to do these two movies back to back really fast. We used a lot of the same actors, same cast. And uh, um, it was pretty busy writing them and, and putting them all together. Uh, uh, Vincent Blanchio helped me with the first script. And um, uh, we actually met through a great guy named Dave Sterling, too. Da I, you know, I forgot to mention Dave Sterling. Dave Sterling is another well-known well, low budget. I met you through Poor Man, too. Which like, one? At an at a, at a erotic L.A. convention. Oh. You, were, you were trying to interview um, a girl that could shove a baseball bat up her vagina. Uh, Thank you. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Uh, really, that sounds... Uh, did I ever get the interview with her? You did, but we cut in front of you. I thought we really made you mad. Yeah, um, probably if her, I was... Her name is Belladonna. Belladonna. Yes, well, Belladonna is famous uh, yeah. for shoving pretty much everything on the planet into her, her, oh, her butt. Bat. Oh, my God, man. Oh, well... That's another story. I'm sorry. That I don't know. Belladonna. But uh, you're... That's you've, when I first met you. Okay. Now, you've done like 100 horror films. How many have you made? Maybe like 20... <laughs> okay, 20, 100. But I edited it a lot. I've worked, you know, I'll do anything. I'll hold a boom. I don't care. But, you know, I think it takes an amazing amount of stamina to do. How do you prepare to do two back-to-back -back films just so you don't burn out? Um, uh, well, uh, uh, let's see. I, I, I go to the gym a lot. Oh, that's bullshit. Uh, what do you really do to prepare? You just get drink? You, there's no preparation, is there? No, there's no preparation. Preparation H. But I, I really, I build, I build everything and get everything ready the night before the shoot, and then I don't get any sleep. I worry, oh, is somebody going to get electrocuted or caught on fire? Like the Frankenstein movie, we blew up the whole prison, blew up the whole lab. And I just worried all about the explosives all day long, you know, and stuff like that. Because I'm the pyrotechnician, too. Yeah. So did it... Did you have fire burning? In yeah, 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 yeah. It was great. All the machines blew up, and and uh, Phil Darlington was the monster, and it blew up behind him, and he was great. Now, when are these movies going to come out? Um, you said Dracula in a Woman's Prison is is edited. I'm I got to edit them both right now, and uh, be a couple months, and then um, hopefully Netflix or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe the summer. Uh, first, summer to 2015. First, first of never. But you have a blast doing these movies. Are you getting rich, getting ready to retire? No. I need I need to More movies. Social Security. Where do uh, low budget filmmakers go to die? They um I don't you know um they just um they end up working at Walmart as greeters and then they just uh, eventually have a heart attack and die. Is your dream to make big budget mainstream films? It's always been that. I always wanted to do like big I have big ideas. I don't have any money. I hope you find them entertaining. The fact that they fall short on so many levels, but in a fun way, you know. Well, I have a lot of fun working with you, Jeff. Really, and you, you do. You have a great handle on the film, uh, on, on filmmaking. Uh, what are some of your uh, films that you can tell our viewers out there that you've made that they might have seen? Oh, I don't want. I don't want to give them their money back. Creepies. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, where shit, shit on a shingle was a yeah. very good one. Hell's Highway. That one seems to be in Hell's Walmart Highway? a lot. And uh, uh, Charlie's Death Wish. I used to work with this great girl named Phoebe Dollar. She she left, and after she left, it all went to hell. <laughs> 
So Walmart pretty much is your, that is the, the dream, the heaven of where these movies go. Yeah, Blockbuster's gone, Hollywood Video's gone, uh, Netflix and Walmart. It's pretty much where it's at. Is, yeah. it, is it enough to survive on? No. Can you afford the beer? No. So if there are people out there, if there's someone out there and they go, we need a director, we have like a certain amount of money, can they con how would they get in touch with you? Do you have a website? Facebook. What's your Facebook? Jeff Leroy. I'm one of 20, but you'll know me. I'm, I'm the only one with my picture. <laughs> and you get to work with beautiful women all the time. I love it. I love it. I could be working in a steel mill in Pittsburgh, PA. Is that where you're from? Yeah. No but, shit. But I'm working with these Puma, Puma Swede and Rachel and Tasha and gin and tonic and all these beautiful women. I love it. I love it. And you could just walk up and go, okay, pop the top. And then, and you have a lot of lesbian stuff in your movies. Is this a thing of yours? What's a, is that your, you known for that? Well, I mean, lesbians are so much more interesting than just two guys sitting there talking to each other, you know. I make all the characters female and then have them rip their clothes off and make out with each other. I like that. Now, there's a rumor about a uh, mummy in a woman's prison. Happening or not? Well, we, we sort of, the Bride of Frankenstein was sort of in a mummy costume, so I guess that counts. Maybe John Lachago can do that one. He was here earlier. How about a uh, creature from the Black uh, Lagoon in a woman's prison? Comes out of the toilet. Well, I, I think, like, if you follow the Universal films, they'd throw everything. They'd throw the Frankenstein monster, the Mad Doctor, the Hunchback, the Werewolf, the, the Mummy. They'd put them all in one, like House of Dracula, House of Frankenstein. That's That'd be the next move. Just put them all. Alien, Predator, just throw everyone. Godzilla, Megalon, you know. Where are you going to be in 10 years? I'm going to be dead, I hope, man, because I'll be living in my car if I'm not. <laughs> Send this man some money. He needs to make movies. But they're a lot of fun. What I'll say about these are popcorn films. You sit home. You laugh. Sometimes you laugh at the film, with the film. It's fun. And, and that's a lot for these days. A lot better than some mainstream things where you're bored. They're You'll, boring. They're boring. Yeah. Jeff Lee, Lee Roy is not boring. He may be broke and he may be drunk and live in his car, but God damn it, he's not in a Pittsburgh steel mill.